Boat's incoming. Ah! Oh. Is this the boat's coming? Yes, the boat is very much incoming. <laughs> We've been hearing about this boat, so we need to. Uh... There's So today we're unveiling the uh, Artemis Ferry. So this is the world's first zero emissions ferry that's going to be able to uh, fly passengers all around the world from into work in a commuter sense. Um, are just huge advantages in terms of cost for the operator, for the passenger, comfort, weight, pollution. Um, so really a radical new technology. So the Artemis e-foiler is, is a propulsion system, but it's a propulsion system that's married with underwater hydrofoils, which are pretty much wings, just like an aeroplane wing, but you don't see them because they're there under the water. They give lift just like an aeroplane, and the boat rises up out of the water. That has a huge reduction in drag. That's the first thing it does, and that really allows, therefore, the battery charge to allow you go to a much longer range or use much less battery power. It reduces the cost. You don't need as much fuel. But then it does some other things. It means there's no wake from the boat. It means that there's no noise. And really importantly for a lot of passengers, it stops the seasickness as well. So your traditional ferry may be going up to an island and back every single day, running all day. They'd be burning nearly 3 million pounds of fuel every single year. And when you think, sadly, of what 3 million pounds of fuel represents in emissions, think how many cars you could be running, in diesel cars as well, you'd be running for that. With our boat, the costs are in the hundreds of thousands, so huge savings. You know, and that means that not only is it better for the environment, it's better for business. For an operator over 15 years, they're going to be having you know, a third of the total cost, which can be passed on to passengers, can be passed on to taxpayer. So um, it's good for business, but you know, I think for us as a motivation, it's about reducing those emissions.